Hi, my name is Nicole, licensed clinician, and we're here talking about everyday things that impact our mental health and fitness. And I want to talk about sleep briefly today. I can probably do like an entire week's worth of videos just on sleep and sleep hygiene and why it's so important. But today we're just going to talk a little bit about why sleep is important and hopefully get a little bit more buy-in um, with that because like I said in a previous video, a lot of times when we're looking for time to do stuff, the first thing that people kind of say is like, we'll just wake up earlier, right? Or like, we'll just go to sleep later. Um, and oftentimes that's not the best idea because we need the amount of sleep that we need in order to be able to function properly and fully. So we know for children and teenagers, uh, sleep helps support growth and development and brain development. And getting inadequate sleep over time can actually raise your risk for chronic long-term health problems. So um, actually, if you look at the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute website, it's nhlbi.com nih.gov. Um, they talk about how sleep works and why is sleep important. And I think this is a great article that I'm referencing um, that kind of sums up a lot of things in a couple of different categories. So um, they outline that uh, it affects how you think, react, work, learn, and how you get along with others. Like we know when you're sleep deprived, you have like this like foggy brain, it's hard to make decisions, it's hard to even just like think through something all the way. Uh, you might be more irritable, um, short with people, not really in the mood for anybody, anything. You might be really easily overwhelmed, overstimulated, um, all of those things, right? So like not having enough sleep impacts a lot. And it also can impact our heart and circulatory system, um, hormones and sleep. So like hormones, different hormones are released at different times throughout the day. And so we need sleep in order for some of those hormones to be made or some of the daytime hormones to be cleared out. Um, so it's a, it's a way for our bodies and our brains to reset. We also, when we're tired, at least I know for myself, tend to crave different types of food. Um, usually things that are a little bit more sweet or fatty, things that our bodies are trying to utilize uh, for energy. Um, we also tend to do less physical activity because we're exhausted, right? Like it's hard to uh, get up and go to the gym or even just like go for a walk or move around a lot when you're you feel like you just want to fall over from sleep or from lack of sleep uh, let reduced I was gonna say less oh well yeah less less sleep can also lend itself to developing metabolic syndrome um, we can become overweight it lends itself towards obesity we carry our stress in our bodies differently when we also don't have enough sleep and we store our fat differently. So what does that have to do with mental health? Um, so sleep helps with the formation of long-term memories. Now, when we have like a trauma that happens or something, we have our memories in the short-term memory and sleep helps move that from short-term memory into long-term memory. So it's a way of um, transferring data over to like the other side of our brain basically. And that happens when we're sleeping. So if we're not sleeping or we're not sleeping well in the wake of a trauma or, um, you know, I mean at all, right? When we're trying to learn something, it has to go from short-term memory to long-term memory. Um, a lot of times those things can get stuck in that short-term memory. And then specifically relating to trauma, that's where it becomes really easy to start to relive some of those memories and start having those intrusive thoughts um, about those memories, those flashbacks, because our brain is like, hey, this just happened. It's in short-term memory. It must have just happened, right? And, um, you know, that can be after 
even after like years of having our sleep negatively impacted. The same website also has a section on sleep deprivation and deficiency, and it talks a little bit about um, you know what what happens when we're when we have when we're sleep deficient. Interestingly enough, it also says that children who are sleep deficient may be overly active and have problems paying attention. They might also misbehave and their school performance can suffer. So I want you also to think about that, obviously not just for yourself, hopefully you're an adult watching this, um, but think about it like if you have kids and what sleep deficiency can do to them. So if you are setting an example of like not having like a good sleep schedule or good sleep hygiene, and your kids are kind of like following those footsteps, there could be some other ways that their sleep deficiency will show up. And that can kind of also make parenting more challenging than it already is. So um, that might be a good thing to, to kind of look at and start to tweak a little bit. Now, obviously there's certain shifts that people work or certain um, hours of the day that people work that you can't really clean up your sleep hygiene and really get as much sleep as you actually need. Um, and for that, you know, unfortunately it is kind of what it is, but for the rest of the world who kind of like works this like general, like nine to five ish, give or take, um, and who can go to sleep at night and wake up during the day. Um, there is a lot that you can do to kind of clean up the little messy edges and get better sleep quality in even the same amount of time that you sleep if you don't have the option of extending the time that you sleep. So stay tuned. I think I'm, I'm going to be doing a video series on that.